What's up guys, it's Smith here from GamersHeroes.com and today I just want to give you a quick building guide on burgage plots and the best way I've found to build these. Now I've pretty much finished the building mode, I've got to the top rank of properties, I've got another couple of things to do, but I've done about 20-25 hours in the game so far and about 15 hours on this playthrough. So, a few things I've learned that I want to pass on to you so you don't make the same mistakes I do. I think I've mentioned this in pretty much every video so far. Build your burgage plots close together and ideally near your market. This will make it a lot easier to upgrade them over time and your residents don't have to travel so far to get stuff. So when you're building your burgage plots, there are three different sizes that will appear. You've got your basic size. Let's see if I can get this here in one. Nope. There you go. So this icon here just represents you are going to have a single house on this burgage plot. I almost never do this. If you've got very limited space and it's your only option, that's fine. Otherwise, you're just wasting space and I wouldn't do this at all. There is a second size slot, which is more one out of convenience and force. Be able to get there you go this is basically um an upgrade that will allow a second family to live on the same slot so this does save a tiny bit of space compared to two traditional size burgage plots so if we go here like this uh, let's try this one out Ugh. we go one there one there one there all right there you go so there's the two and then there's a, it will save you a tiny bit of space, right? But it's, it's typically taking space away from something else. So this one's okay in a pinch. If you have to build it there because that's the only space you've got, that's okay. What I recommend doing nearly every time is getting the full-size burgage plot for the upgrade. So this is just a normal burgage plot. Again, extend it a little bit further, and you see you get that new icon at the back, which is like a hammer under a shed. These allow you to eventually build what is called extensions. These are massively important for the entire game so these are the uh, extensions here i think they're called extensions or expansions one or the other um do i have a lower property house i can show you it on level two this is fine so basically when you've got this slot in the back you will eventually be able to spend money or regional wealth i've got guides up on that on the channel as well to put certain upgrades on it now chicken coops are a fantastic early game upgrade they offer a passive and near infinite supply of eggs i've been running eggs since i started and if you have a look, I've still got 52 eggs in there and I export them too. So chicken coops are a fantastic resource earlier on for getting good amount of food in. Um, the other ones you can do at the start, I think, are goats. So you can get a regular supply of hide and then vegetable gardens. Now vegetable gardens are slightly different to the chicken coops. These just kind of do their own thing. They're good to go. These do require a bit more maintenance from the people living there. So I try and put these at houses close to all the anemones. So closer to the market, closer to the water, so they're not wasting too much time doing other things. The additional thing about the vegetable garden is it requires a larger area. The yield depends on the plot size. So you can see here, these are my normal ones down here with the chicken coops. My vegetable ones are probably two or three times the length because I want the most yield possible from the space, right? So... Vegetables are pretty good again. As you can see here, my main food source is vegetables and eggs. Like my farm does absolutely nothing. The farming in this game is not impressing me so far at all. Later on um, in the upgrades for the development section, you can also get orchardry where you can grow apples in the back of your gardens. Again, I think this depends on the size. Um, these are pretty useless as well. Uh, they're about as bad as farming. The trouble is it only harvests once a year and you don't get enough to even propel you through a few months. So... I would definitely recommend just sticking to vegetable patches and carrots, uh, not carrots, sorry, chicken coops. I think they offer the best bang for your buck at the moment. Um, I've had these trees in, it's, it must have been three years by now. It must have been, I'm not sure. So maybe I'll, I'll leave a reservation out on the, on the apples just yet. I know those ones up there have definitely been up for three years. And if I look in my marketplace, there's never any apples. I've got none in storage, probably in the granary. So... I don't think the apples are great. Um, I would definitely focus on the chicken coops and the vegetable gardens early on. Um, later on, they also become really viable for earning you money. So you can build stuff like cobbler's shops, you can build blacksmiths, you can build tailors. This allows you to turn your rare resources into actual products that you can sell for more money. So that takes two iron slabs for one sidearm. If we check the market here real quick and have a look for the iron slabs, so the iron slabs sell for four each, for each, so that's eight total. If I go to the weapons, they also sell for eight. So it's pretty much the same money, and everything I knew about trading is a lie. I'm not sure what's happened there. I'm sure that value was the same before. I think I need to establish the route. That might be what it is. 
Um, so yeah, when you're upgrading your houses, make sure you stick to the chicken coops and the vegetable gardens early on, and then leave spaces for your artisan ones later. It's worth noting that these ones specifically, the artisans, the blacksmiths, the cobblers, the tailors, when you assign that building that the family in there become workers there so they won't do their other job anymore they will just live there so i like to put these ones relatively out of the way but they're not doing anything else but that's kind of the basics of building your burger plots so guys, nice and quick nice and easy get when you get back to the game if we helped you out today do like subscribe we do appreciate it and i'll see you next one take care now